we are going to be doing an, uh, a fireplace backer wall. So when you back up that uh, fireplace to the wall, uh, it'll have this brick, uh, faux brick look behind it. So our IOD product that we're using today that we're featuring is this awesome uh, brick roller. Um, if you are looking for Iron Orchid Design products, including this brick roller, check with your local stockist. These are called um, trowels, and I found that I needed two. So this one, super dirty, it was just thrown in my bucket, it's got a rounded edge. I found that this makes it super easy to get the joint compound out of the bucket because it shapes to the side of the bucket. And so I can kind of scoop it up the side of the bucket. So once I do that, so say I scooped it up out of the bucket here, I've got it on here. I normally just flop it on here, but I know that if you're doing a wall, you can put it on here and then smear it on the wall. I don't have to do that. So I'm actually going to get a little bit more out of my bucket and just flop it on there. So I've got my bucket of water here and I'm going to do this brick rolling with a wet roller and that makes it so that the joint compound does not stick. So it's important to line this top line up on the edge of where you're starting and it's just going to roll with me. And you can see that it's doing this brick design right behind me. And don't worry, you know, if it's not too deep, you know, some of your joint compound is not going to be as deep as the other ones. Um, it'll all work out. Our next row. And you know, your last row here is, it's not going to be a full row, a partial row, but you're going to treat it just the same. Yep. Line up my thing. She's staying in the line. And I'm staying in the line. I'm just going to roll with it. You can see how doing this to a wall, I mean, a wall like behind your toilet, something like that. One thing that I noticed when doing this at home was that, you know, your wall has got an edge on it. So say your, your other wall, you know, you're going into a corner, you can only get... Oh, right. That's a good point to bring so up. So far, I guess. And so what I did was just kind of recreate that line. And I just kind of like... With a pencil yeah, or your just finger. the edge of something, I just uh -huh. kind of made those lines. So what we did next is I just took some white paint, um, actually just squirted it on, brushed it out, and painted it white. It is important that you paint this to let this seal. The joint compound will actually dry white. Um, but I think if you like get it wet, it will like reactivate or something. Yeah, it needs So definitely do a coat of paint over it. Um, to kind of give these bricks some color, um, I'm using like a really light um, sandy brown. Taupe? Taupe yeah. color. Um, I'm gonna dry brush it, so I'm gonna make sure that I have a lot of it off. But um, I'm gonna come back over that white paint and just kind of stipple the bricks and I'm kind of going in um, alternating corners and I think on a wall in your home you might want to establish a perfectly straight up and down line first yes when Josie and Sally did it they actually had a chalk a line laser line okay a laser line or a chalk line to establish your um, you know you're perfectly straight up and down and like Chrissy said from then on you're just following the um, the valleys, I guess you could say. Yeah. So Josie and Sally do have a YouTube video of them doing this as well. So if this is a project that you want to do, before I did mine, I watched their videos start to finish. They explained everything. And so that would be another um, place I would check. To um, get some ideas. Yeah, yeah. And, to, and to just be confident. This is a wash. I'm oh. just going to scoop a little bit of this out. Using the last of the paint. The fork and the last of my paint. And this is the light gray. This is the same light gray that I used on the mantle. This is our uh, brick color. 
I think it looks like a, you know, a whitewashed brick. I like it. And I think it's gonna look great with our mantle. Check out Sally and Josie's. They actually did a red brick, like an antique brick. This was the super wet. This is the kind of dry, and that's the done back there. I do suggest, I think what made some of these bricks look more um, authentic. authentic is coming in with a little fan brush like this and just, you know, hitting the, the edges, the high points before I did that wash. So and, it's and still- I like the way you did a wash instead of painting the whole thing that light gray, because in normal bricks, the grout is a different color than the bricks. Yeah. It's not all the same. Y'all have a great day and thanks for joining us.